So we know that the outlook of the Parrot Security uh, website has changed. You can still go to parrotsec.org slash download. And here you see the outlook has changed, right? So in this one, you first need to choose uh, the category and then you need to choose the edition and then you need to choose the architecture. Now on my previous video that I've made on Parrot Operating System, I got a few comments stating that the website has changed and we need to know what to do now. now and there were a couple things mentioned about the errors that they were facing with the uh, virtual um, category. Now, if you go ahead and click on the virtual category, you will get an option to select uh, from either security or home. So if you, for example, go ahead and select security, or even uh, you know, if you click on home, you'll find these two, AMD64, ARM64 with the security as well, AMD64, ARM64. Now, in this case, I would... Um, I would let you know that you should go for AMD 64 with the AMD 64. When you see this, it just typically refers to that, you know, it's talking about the X64 architecture, which is compatible with both AMD as well as Intel. So it shouldn't be a problem. So you can go ahead and go for AMD 64. But in case you're still facing issues with this, don't worry, we got to work around for this as well. All right, so back on the page where we choose the category, this time we are not going to go for virtual we're gonna go for live, right? So let's go ahead and click on live and then whichever one you want. So let's go for security, AMD64 without a problem. Let's go ahead and click on download. It's gonna tell me, hey, you wanna go for this ISO image. I'm gonna go ahead and click on ISO image and it's gonna start downloading it for me. And here you see that it tells you that the default credentials for this are user parrot and the password is parrot as well. So let me pause the video for now um, until it downloads. And uh, yeah, I'm going to resume it uh, once it's done. All right, so the download has completed. And the last thing that I'm interested in on this website right now is the section that talks about the requirements. Uh, we're looking at dual core CPU in terms of the processor. We got the graphics as no GA required, memory of one GB RAM and 16 GB storage. That's pretty much it. Now we know the requirements as well. Let's jump right into the virtual box and be done with it. All right, so I've launched the virtual box. The first thing you need to do is just go ahead and click on help and make sure you're on the latest virtual box software version. Uh, for that, you need to click on about virtual box and confirm if you're if you are on the latest one. And if you're not, then you need to go ahead and you know click on check for updates and then go ahead and you know update it accordingly. Now, once you're done with all of that, go ahead and click on new. All right, so clicking on new and then give it a name. I'm going to say paired operating system 2024 and then I'm going to go ahead and leave the folder as it is. I'm going to select the ISO image now. As soon as I select the ISO image, you find that the type and the version are auto populated, right? So the type as well as the version, the type being Linux and the version being Debian 64 bit. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and click on next. All right, so I don't have a problem with this. However, I'm just gonna go ahead and increase the memory on this one. I'm gonna say 4096, I'm okay with that. Uh, processors, I'm gonna give it four for now. Uh, I can change it later on, it's completely uh, my choice. We can click on the settings button. Once all of this is done, we can change it later on as well. So create a virtual hard disk. Now I'm okay with 20 GBs and I'm gonna click on next and then I'm gonna click on finish. So this gives you a summary and all that, right? Just go ahead and click on finish. All right, so we are good. That's our Parrot Operating System 2024. We're gonna go ahead and start it. But before that, I'm gonna go ahead and click on settings to change one piece of configuration. That is uh, the graphics controller. Um, so it's VMS VGA right now, but it's not that good with my um, PC. The problem is that I'm, I'm able to load the graphics um, for the Parrot operating system. It's working, but at the same time, it gives me a couple of warnings or errors, and I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to display and change the graphics controller to VBOX SVGA and say, OK, now that it's changed to VBOX SVGA, I can go ahead and click on start. Now let's do it right away. I'm going to go ahead and click on start and let's wait for it for a moment. Powering VM up. It shouldn't take that long, maybe around two minutes. 
right? So let's wait for two minutes here just to make sure that if we get any errors, we're going to try to look into those right away. Try slash install, hit enter, and let's wait for it for some more time. Uh, it's not going to take that long. And if you want to know more about you know Parrot operating system, I've given a small introduction to the Parrot OS in my previous video. Aha, there you go. We're good. Now uh, that the uh, operating system has loaded, um, uh, you know, based on your resources, go ahead and assign it the resources accordingly. We're going to go ahead and do the next step to make sure, because this is a live image, right? So we need to go ahead and install it now. And that is this option right here. So we're going to go ahead and click on uh, install Parrot, and we're done. Go ahead and click on Parrot, install Parrot. Uh, just double click on it. That should be fine. Or just click on it and then hit enter. And welcome to Glamorous um, install for Parrot OS, a lorikeet. It's like a parakeet. Right. Uh, next. And uh, I just go ahead and change it accordingly, uh, you know, as per your location or whatever. Uh, I'm just going to go with it right now. Um, so erase this. This will delete all the currently present um, data on the selected storage device. And then manual partitioning. I'm going to go with erase, swap, no swap. No hibernate with hibernate, swap to file, no swap. And then it tells you that this is what it's going to look like here at the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on next. What is your name? So my name is the network Viking. Oh, can I go for more? That's on a boss. Okay, do I do that? No, I shouldn't do that. The network Viking should be sufficient. And I want to say password. Okay. All right, let's see if I got correctly. All right, looks good to me. I'm going to say next. And location, keyboards, partitioning, blah, blah, blah. Install. Uh, the part, This installer is about to make changes to the disk. You'll no lo longer be able to undo, undo these changes. Uh, install now. And then just go ahead and wait for it to complete. Once it's done, I'm going to go ahead. So uh, basically, it's going to take some time right now. And therefore, I'm going to pause the video once it's done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and resume the video. All right, so finally it's done. I'm going to go ahead and uh, restart uh, this image. I'm just uh, going to uncheck this box of restart now. I'm going to say done, and then I'm going to go ahead and close it off, power off uh, the machine, and say OK. All right, great. So one more thing that I need to do right now is all right, go to settings, and then once we're there. On storage, uh, select this, this, remove disk from virtual drive, say OK. That's it. Now we're going to go ahead and hit start. And let's see. Let's see how it goes. Powering VM up. Almost there. OK, let me just pause the video for now. And once it's um, OK. All right, welcome to Grub, and there you go, you see? Beautiful, I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter, and let's wait for it. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Pretty sure it's not going to take that long this time. And uh, looking good. Oh, like that. In the meantime, do not forget to subscribe, like, and comment as well. That would help a lot. I really appreciate that. Okay. Maybe I should pause the video, but I. I don't really think it's going to take that long. I think we're almost there. 
Okay. Great. Now that's what I was looking for. I hope I just forget the password. Guess I got it right. And beautiful. We are good. Now your parrot operating system is loaded, working, and you can go for it right away. Everything right here, applications, and you can browse through all these applications, pen testing tools and whatnot, everything in here, and you got the terminal right here, and that's pretty much it. Now, I hope this video was useful, and if it was, I would request you to kindly consider subscribing, sharing, and commenting as well. That really helps me out, and yeah. Um, you guys have a great time ahead. Goodbye.